Finally, to the defamation courts and a big slapdown for the ABC and one of its star reporters, Mark Willisey. ABC loses defamation case brought by former commando Heston Russell after public interest defence fails. Sad to say, it's a loss that we predicted and a case that we believe the ABC could never have defended. Heston Russell is a former special operations commando who sued the ABC and investigative reporters Mark Willisey and Josh Robertson over two articles that claimed Russell's November platoon executed an unarmed prisoner in mid-2012. That allegation, as you may recall, relied entirely on one ex-US Marine who did not want to be identified for fear of retribution, but was happy to go on camera using a pseudonym, Josh. And you just heard a silence, and then we heard a pop, and then they said, OK, we have six prisoners. Um, and so it was pretty apparent to everybody involved in that mission that they had just killed a prisoner, that we had just watched them, like, catch and hog tie. As we said nearly two years ago, Josh was the ABC's sole witness to the killing, and he had not actually seen it happen. And that was always the difficulty with this story, with Justice Michael Lee taking only six weeks to reach a verdict that dismissed the ABC's defence and awarded Russell $390,000 in damages, which was naturally welcomed on the steps of the court by the former commando. Today, the federal court decided that it was not in the public interest for the commandos of November platoon to be accused of heinous war crimes without any basis. The evidence at trial demonstrates that the publications that I sued over were concocted at best by the so-called investigative, investigative journalist unit of the ABC. It's fair to say the ABC's handling of the case was a disaster from day one. First of all, the broadcaster was forced to abandon its truth defence in May after Justice Lee struck most of it out. That left it relying on a new and untested public interest defence. But then, in a bizarre twist, the ABC abandoned that defence at the 11th hour over concerns it would identify its sole witness, only to backflip days later and reinstate it. In the end, Justice Lee gave the ABC short shrift, finding it had no reasonable belief that its stories were in the public interest and that it had not asked questions it should have asked or given Russell a right of reply, and adding... There may be several reasons why this dispute resulted in expensive and protracted litigation, but one of them was the existence of a defensive mindset inhibiting a proper remedial response to criticism. A mindset which may have caused the ABC to reject an offer to settle the case for $99,000 last year. But that's not to say Heston Russell emerged unscathed, with Justice Lee dismissing his case for aggravated damages and finding... Mr Russell was generally not an impressive witness. He was regularly non-responsive and was unwilling to make concessions he regarded as contrary to his case. All in all, I do not consider it safe to place any reliance upon his evidence. But either way, this is a black day for ABC News and its investigations unit. When we first tackled this story nearly two years ago, we argued that the ABC should have had more than one source to back up its allegation and should have asked more questions before publishing. But the ABC dismissed our criticism and Mark Willisey complained that we had got it wrong. As Justice Lee noted... Criticism was perceived as undermining the defence of ABC investigations to external attack. This may be understandable from a human perspective, but one suspect it was not conducive to considering dispassionately whether corrections and retractions needed to be made. More recently, we predicted the ABC's legal defence, which has cost more than half a million dollars, would fail badly. And while we said we hoped we were wrong, unfortunately for the ABC, we were not.